hello and welcome back to yet another unboxing video. Uh, just a quick update on some of my more recent eBay purchases. Um, I bought quite a lot of old video cameras again recently, um, camcorders this time. Uh, I seem to be going through a phase with those at the moment. So I find them quite interesting, especially the early ones and the unusual ones. So let's get started. Do a big one first. This one in here, I think, is Panasonic. Full size VHS. It certainly packs it well, and it's already in its own case as well. I'm kind of glad that it's actually smaller than the box. I was getting a bit worried about how big it was. Oh, that's a nice case. Go. It's the first Panasonic M1 camera they did back in 1985. Wow, it's still got a videotape in it. Got a CRT in there for the viewfinder. Unfortunately, it's missing the handle that would be on the top. Normally, be a handle there. No power supply with this either. But uh, because of that, I got it quite cheap. I think I paid about eight pounds for it. I think the postage was probably about the same. Certainly uh, got some weight to it, but the battery's on the back already. Looks like it suffered some damage actually there. One of the battery terminals, unfortunately. Uh, still a nice one to have though. Something about stuff from 1985. One of my favourite years, a lot of things happened in that year. Technology wise and good movies. Let's put that down there for now. Do a little one. Another early camcorder. Not all stuff suffered some damage by the looks of it. A lot of these old cameras won't work now, unfortunately, because they all suffer with capacitor leakage, uh, which is a shame. The capacitor, the surface mount capacitors start leaking, and uh, they spill the. Uh, fluids out all over the circuit board and it eats away at the copper. But so you can get some good spares out of these. A black and white viewfinder in there, which I use for other projects. I think that one's from around about 1991. What model is it actually? CCD F330 Video 8. Uh, try and save the box for this actually because I could use this box for something. There we go. Might like to put those Star Wars figures in there. Ah oh, yes, I remember these now. New old stock. Four of them the same. They're little jackets for camcorders. Um, for the CCD V7, V8E and the V8AF. That's got the original price on there, $29.99. Probably think of why I bought so many, but it was one lot basically. Still sealed. Wow. A little protective jacket to go with the camera itself. Amazing. I shan't keep all of those. Unusual that somebody had four of the same thing. It must have been old shop stock. On to the next one. Oh, what a surprise, another camera. Pretty sure all these are cameras actually. Ah, oh, it's the Ferguson. It's another JVC clone from Riley. Instruction manual. Portable video system 3C03. Yeah, it's the JVC clone. Brand new vi videotape there. It's always handy for testing things. Oh, great, I've got a DC cable finally. I'll be able to use that um, on another camera that I've got because they're usually missing those cables. 
here's the camera. I'm quite sure what that is. That's the viewfinder. Oh, I see. Spin that around. No, I don't know why you want to do that. So the, this is the clone of the JVC. The JVC version was red. Um, I think it's the GRC7 or C6. I forget the model number now. But it's in very good condition. It's missing the um, cup there for your viewfinder, unfortunately. But I saw that in the listing. I think they said it powered up. So uh, the picture was distorted. Early auto focusing system there. Um, it emitted an infrared beam. Bounced back off the subject. So that, that was the emitter and that was a receiver. Bounced back off the subject to work out the distance for the focusing. Headphone socket, remote socket. Let's see what else is in here because it still was quite heavy. Oh, two batteries in there. Mains adapter. I think I paid eight pounds for this one, which isn't bad. Oh, we've got a remote. Oh no, it's not, it's an RF modulator. It's a shame, but nice to have a remote actually. Now that one's a, that uses the VHSC tapes, by the way, which is the mini VHS tapes. You put those in a, a full-size adapter to play back in your full-size VHS VCR. Oh, sent me some eggs. Oh, no, they haven't. It's empty. Oh, I think this is a little Sony. Just keeping an eye on that candle over there. I don't want anything... Uh, going up in flames. Yes, I've been after one of these for a while now. It's so small, a lot smaller than I remembered it being. Wow, that is a little one. Which one have we got here? Oh, here we go, yes, the CCD TR55. This is the first ever Handycam, or well, the, the palm quarter, should I say, rather. I think this came out in 1989 or 1990. I'll have to do some research on that. Look how small it is. It's hard to believe there's a video cassette recorder in there and a camera and a TV screen. For, for back then, that technology was just amazing to have all that. I think these were around about 1,100 pounds back in the day. Amazing. When you look at it compared to these, marvelous how uh, far they've come along. Amazing. This must be all the power supply. Yeah. Power supply, three batteries, lens adapter. I'm not expecting any of these to work. Oh. Yes, it's another Sony. It's a Sony. Popular slogan back in the day. Another palm corder. Oh, that's later model. It's got a lot bigger lens on it. Much bigger. 62 millimeter compared to what was that one? That's a lot of 32, probably looking at it. 37. 37 diameter. Oh, this is a high eight machine, that one's standard eight. Again, this was sold as non-working as well. I can't remember what I paid for it. I think it was about a tenner for that one. CCD TR808E. That's in good condition as well. Think about how old they are. Very nice. Uh, instruction manual there, I think. All right there. Oh, there we go, yes. CCD M8E. I've actually ordered that camera. Um, it's here somewhere. <laughs> uh, I'll be unboxing that. It may not be this video. It'll probably be the next one when I find it. That's in really good condition. That was actually um, Sony's first ever camcorder back in 1985. Uh, that was a recorder only. Um, you had to have a separate VCR to play the tapes back. And then a little um, 8mm deck you could buy separately. Um, obviously, you couldn't put those tapes into a VHS adapter because it just wouldn't work. But uh, it was the lightest one in the world at the time. I think it weighed just over a kilo. 
which obviously sounds like a lot by today's standards. But yeah, I've been after one of those for quite a long time. Right, I think we'll do one more for this video. I don't want to bore anybody for too long. Looks like another camcorder. What's an unusual looking one? Oh yeah, it's Akai, that was there, I remember now. Some horrible foam in there. Oh, that's the VHS adapter I was talking about before. So you would put the VHS C tape into that and it would uh, lace up the tape around the VCR heads and a full-size VHS machine to let you pay your tapes back. A couple of tapes in there. Oh, there's an 8mm tape in there. Double coating. That's the... Um, how much difference are the thickness? I don't know if you can see that on camera. That's the VHSC and that's 8mm, almost the same size. As you can see, that's half the size. That's just all the cables. Oh, great, another DC adapter. That's good. But yeah, this is the camera here. This is such an unusual machine. It's what attracted me to this. And Akai didn't do a lot of cameras. See, so they're more known for their audio products, like real to real tape recorders and smaller tape recorders and um, drum machines, so samplers. But this one goes about it differently if the tape's on the top on this one, whereas on all the same it's on the side. This is VHSC again. Battery's under the palm rest there, under the hand rest. Yeah, there's a little bit of corrosion on that, so it's highly unlikely that'll work. Saying that I have had one recently that has some corrosion on the terminal and it's actually charged up. It's amazing. Video movie, it's a model PVC100E. There's all your controls on the back there. You can even do insert editing on it as well. Long play, short play. That's good that you can do editing on that. Obviously it probably won't work now. EV out. Very unusual looking. Well, I think that just about concludes today's video and today's unboxings. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you join me next time for more unboxing videos. Um, until then, I'll be seeing you.